All right, we put Draco on an end cap, and this is one of my favorite spots that they display in, in Home Depot. They're pretty much all the same. I got the door section, right? So it allows me to put him on a downstay there and go out of sight, and I can hide behind the windows. I can see him, but he can't see me, is the idea, right? So we are walking now in a spot so that I can get out of his sight and then have me on a spot that he can't see me, but I can see him, right? We call this around the corner work. And it's all about um, being aware of the environment. We have a great environment in here today for Draco. This is perfect for him because we have low foot traffic. Here's an aisle with a bunch of people and I'm gonna go down that now, watch. If I can show it to you on film. Good. And then you have dead aisles too. So you get aisles that, yep, heel. Good boy, come on, let's go. Aisles that allow you to be able to put different pressures on them, okay? And all these people doing different things. And Draco's attitude has got to stay with me. If he was to float towards that person to sniff or to do anything else, he would get a correction for it, all right? Draco, nope. Good. Good boy, you heal. Good. All right, so it's all about very slowly but surely putting... Sit. Good. More and more things on him, so he gets more and more used to it. Sound. Down. Down. Stay. Good boy. You stay. Good boy, Go oh, Good. And then other things that we put on, like going out of sight. All right? I'm going to go out of sight now. we got no hardly any foot traffic, so he's not nervous for that. So I can build up on all this shaking him out, making noises, going out of sight. Hopefully somebody would walk by right now with him on a downstay. That kind of thing is what he needs, right? There's another cart we can use. We're going to go do the wood piles now. Good boy, Draco. Draco. Good boy. Good, Draco. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, get it, get it. Oh, you did the babies. Good. There you go. Good boy. That's good. And we can give him freedom to let him go into areas that don't have any people at all, which is no stress at all for him, right? Good boy, good. And bring him up and drive it, play with him. Good boy, good, yeah, good boy. <laughs> so this becomes a very, get it, get it, get it, oh, get it, get it. Good boy, he's hearing a sound. He didn't notice it, but he's hearing a sound. Now he gets inquisitive. Our goal is to keep his, his head in a very positive spot, not let him go to a negative. And that's what you've got to keep playing with until he finally gets used to it. Draco, nope. You don't want to piss on that. Draco, down. Nope. Good. Slow poke. Slow poke. You stay. Good. All right, so we're done. Talk to you later. We just keep working him through things. All right. Good boy. Good boy, Draco. A lot of times knocking on doors because most people have doors, right? People knock at the door. The dog gets all excited and goes crazy. That's what we need to get into with Draco. And he doesn't have that. He has... People come to the driveway, he probably hears a bell on the, the uh, system that tells him somebody's there. And then your behavior also says it to him. And so we've got to try to change those uh, structures around that. People coming to your property, going to the front doors, all that's going to be stuff we work with at your home. All right. All right. Talk to you later. Mark Fresh, Protect Dog Training, signing off.